to be hey there we go we are live we are live we are live let's dude hey brad in. yes sir look at your logo the b b and G, oh, brad Bros business look at, and look at mine mine is i can't do this backward but mine is blue pro pages it's got the bp blue pages and yours has got the brad <laughs> match made in heaven Woo, cool. We didn't do this on purpose, folks. We did not do this on purpose. Boop. Or did we? Or did we? Um, pumped, pumped, pumped. So let's, we're going to have some people kind of join as we go. But Chris, you have been one of the constants in the roofing industry <laughs> since I've uh, entered this Facebook, weird Facebook world of roofing where, like four years ago. You've been around, you've been talking, you've been going back and forth, you've been hustling, financing, and um, I mean, it's crazy because there's I, I always been you, other people. I met you at Win the Storm. Yeah, well, a couple and years And we were in New Orleans. That was, before, 20, I think that was right as Blue Pages was launching. Dude, we had 150 people on the map, mm -hmm. right? Our app wasn't even an app. We we had like an idea and then like we were faking it at the at the trade show because everything crashed. Remember, there was no internet there. Oh, so yeah. I called up my team in the Philippines. I said, make me a video. They're like, what do you mean? I'm like, make me a video of the thing and, sh and make it. I, dude, I got a video sent. I got a video made and sent to me as well during that when the storm because I brought a little TV to put up. And I put, I was like, make a video of scrolling through <laughs> different websites that ah. we've made and have it as a slideshow because Bro. the internet keeps freezing when I try to stream there and show ah. people. We so were did that and it, it worked. I mean, it, I yeah. did find that when the storm. We was. had 150 people on the map. I'm walking up to Owens Courting. I'm trying to close Aculinks. Like, dude, I was just pitching and selling and pitching and selling. We have over 18,000 members now on the blue pages. That's incredible. Like nationally, we're going into Canada. That's incredible. In two That's years, incredible. dude, we went from 150 to 18,000. Now we're going into Canada for 10. So we'll be at 30, we'll be at 30,000 members by the end of the year. That's it's insane. And I want to like, I want to talk all about blue pages because yeah, yeah. I think that That's there's, cool. The more I look at it, the more I see what you're doing, the more I realize, like, oh, yeah, okay. like, yeah, dude. I was on the there's phone. There's something with, to this. I was on the phone with Joe the other day, Joseph from uh, CD. Yeah, and he was like, "Dude, what is it that you're doing?" So I just did a quick five minute um, Loom demo, and he watched that because it tells you when they watch it. He called me, he goes, "What the hell?" He goes, I had no idea it did all that. I'm like, yeah, well, dude, I. That's the thing is you've been adding features, 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 features. And here's the thing that like you've been doing it so rapidly that <laughs> it's been hard to keep up. But it's not like like they all play off of each other. So yeah, well. yeah it's, so cool. it's nice. I mean, look, the goal is this and we're going to get into role play, guys and girls. Um, here's the goal of this thing, right? We want to help contractors, no matter what asset class you're in, roofing, air conditioning, so it doesn't matter. We want to help you connect, convert, and close. We don't charge for leads. There's no friction. And the consumer's data is your data. And it all happens on one custom landing page. And then there's a whole bunch of really cool sales tools, like unsecured financing with soft credit pull up to $100,000 built in, into it. And then we give you like, a digital business card. So when you meet them at Dunkin' Donuts or Tim Hortons, it pushes them right to your page so they can transact with you. You know, that's really the goal. And then of course there's traffic where, you know, Brad's got some really cool stuff that I've been watching over the last cool years that he can give you great ideas on how to drive traffic, not just back to a blue page, but back to your website. So you can connect, convert, close with more and develop with some more relationships. So it yeah. all works. Brad and I work together through this whole thing that, you know, the digital business cards with dope, People are putting their QR codes on those and door hangers. So it pushes them to their, their custom landing page. So the conversion is easy. Yeah. And that's the thing is like, there's so much synergy and probably more that we could even unpack is yeah. like, as we go, all of what we're doing, all of like what 
I'm working with people and implementing and getting all that. Like at the end of the day, like without traffic, you don't have business, but traffic doesn't have to like traffic is not a internet term. No, like it, it it's just become what the way people talk about is like, Oh, traffic to the internet. Sure. Like most things are going to be housed on the internet now and all of that. But like what we're trying to do is like, how can you grab what you're doing and get control and yeah. create predictability around your traffic. How can we turn that traffic into really good traffic yeah. and make sure that we're giving them a lot of opportunities to work with you. And like, if you look at what we do, we are just like, okay, let's give them, let's promote around the neighbors. Let's look at how we're communicating even to our clients and trying to get the referrals out of them. And what you've heard me say over and over again is like, my goal is to maximize every single opportunity that enters your business. So if you have a appointment, how can we maximize that appointment to turn into a couple more appointments? Once we have a closed deal, how can we maximize that opportunity to get work around the neighbors, to get more referrals in the future and all that? So that's why I literally sold my agency because I started realizing, man, Google's not necessarily the answer. Um, it's just a step. Yep. But there's so many steps first that once you get put together and once it's implemented properly, you're crushing it. Yeah. And I always talk yeah. about the foundations. And I showed you the thing that I made, I think, five years ago now at SRS on financing. Yep. And it was like, <laughs> you could tell it was made five years ago because even like the software has changed the yeah. powerpoint software changed so it doesn't even like look formatted right but financing is foundational and yeah. it the reason i think financing is foundational is because like one if you are in an insurance market retails a way to stand out if you are in a situation where people are wanting to do business with you it's your responsibility to make it as easy as possible to do business with the right people. Mm -hmm. Financing is something people expect in most categories. And this is a major purchase and it's something that you need to offer. And yeah. also I just saw John bro say something that is like, so aligned with like my Eureka moment five or six years ago when it came to financing was use financing on insurance claims, like yep. use it. If someone has a $28,000 roof, a $4,000 deductible, and then you bid the job, say you bid it 32,000, you don't even, or 28,000 or 26,000, like it doesn't even really matter. Mm -hmm. But you say, hey, I'm gonna consult with you on the insurance process, but I'm not, filing the claim. I'm not doing this job for insurance proceeds or anything. I'm just going to give you my price. My price is my price. Mm -hmm. I'll be a resource to you to make sure that you are not overwhelmed and alone on the insurance process. Yep. We're going to finance this. How much money do you make? Oh, well, but combined we make 140,000. Okay, cool. So let's do a 12 month, no interest loan. After that, your interest picks up. <clears throat> if you can pay it all in the first 12 months, great. But let's get you that cash from the insurance job coming in. And let's just put you in a position where you're not forced to spend all this money today. And all we're doing is giving you options. You can pay it off in 12 months. You can pay it off in three months. You can pay it off in four years. But now you have options. Now you have a little bit of Clarity. You don't have to spend the four thousand dollars on the deductible. Like you don't have to have anything really come out of pocket, and you have the luxury of options. And it doesn't mean that this person can't afford what you're selling. It doesn't mean like you need to present it in a way where, hey, my goal is to make this not just a smooth process. But if I can make this a good process for you, if I can make it so not only do you have a new roof, which is that super exciting, like not usually, but what if I can get you a new roof and you can get fifteen or $20,000 in your pocket? What if 
I can get you a new roof and you don't have to pay for it all today. You need it, but like, let's just make it easy. Yeah. What if I can get you a new roof and we'll just, you just deal with the insurance and uh, we'll find it like whatever. Like the point is that I'm making, I'm kind of rambling now is like <laughs> options, options, options. And that's what financing is. It's not this safety. It's not like, Oh my gosh, I got to save the deal with financing. That's such a terrible way, in my humble opinion, of looking at financing and using financing because it automatically puts people in this small little place. And your job as is to make them want to do business with you, to make it a pleasurable process as much as possible. And you just got to use the tools that you have, but use them well, use them strategically and use them how you want to be you. If someone if like, if someone said, Hey, we can get you a nice couch for $75 a month for two years. And you're like, okay, that sounds great. But then the other said, Hey, the couch is $3,000. And you have to say, I can't afford that right now. And then like, Oh, well, we can do financing. Is that actually a good feeling? Or is it just like, like, yeah, it's kind of icky. You want to lead with it. You want to figure it out. I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm just kind of going on my rant because I wish people understood the power of financing. Well, they're going to. Yeah. If, they, if they're watching this, they're going to by the end of it. I mean, <laughs> hopefully. So, I've only been doing this 26 years. So. Yeah. So that dude, I, I, dude, I need to hold on. Rant. Stop for a sec. Yeah. We got to stop you. We got to go back to what you said like five fucking minutes ago, man. Um, <laughs> You said storm restoration, and you, I'm trying to remember. Um, guys, it's it's about a portfolio. So if you look at a mutual fund, the portfolio is di divested properly with maybe some advanced, some risky, some conservative stuff. It's the same thing in your roofing business. If you're doing restoration storm and you're doing repairs and you're doing some retail, you have to be diversified if you want to stay in business nowadays. Because even John Bros and I talked about this at one of the roofing events. This storm down here in Florida is a retail storm. Now, this retail model thing has been around forever. Don't think that this is freaking new because someone launched uh, or there's like people standing on stage saying it's a new thing. This has existed forever. The adoption has happened now that roofers are going, oh, I can finance so that's what's really happened. And I know this because I ran one of the largest national distributorships financing program, went from 1.5 million a month, and I got them up to doing 33 million a month in applications. So financing a deductible, yes. Financing the project, yes. Financing the adders, yes. Financing the whole thing and letting them take a, a check and pay it back, yes. Like there's no reason why you shouldn't add financing to your business whether you're doing it or not, because there's programs that have dealer fees, there's programs that don't have dealer fees. And there's just programs that work out there in general. So going back to Brad's point about five minutes ago, add it onto your business because it ain't going to hurt. And now Brad and I can probably discuss the whole, not to mention the marketing benefits of it from a postcard at the door, or a door hanger, or an ad somewhere saying, hey, we have 100% affordable finance options. Call us, right? If you yeah. don't have it, they'll pass you up and go to somebody that does. So yeah, you had some great, that, great points in there, brother. Yeah, I, was, yeah, I threw so much out there. I had <laughs> at least one thing would better be good. Um, no, it was. I mean, dude, think about how we buy stuff. Like, And that's the big thing that I get so fixated on. I like financing. It's so important. I, it's such a big thing to me. And that's why like, I have nothing to do with financing. And in the past, I just did marketing. But you always got, I mean, I think for the last, I probably have sent you at least one or two people a month almost. I'm not saying everyone's closed. They haven't all reached out to you. But like, I mention you, I bring up financing yeah. all the time when I'm talking to people because if they can get it right, then it will change. Oh, it's system. so easy to do. People, yeah. I think sometimes people think it's difficult and I, it's interesting. In some of these groups, people are like, dude, if you have to offer finance, you don't have the right customers. Like what? Bro, we're financing our gas. We're financing our food. We're financing our furniture. We're financing everything. So for somebody to respond back to somebody say, if you're offering financing, you're dealing with the wrong customers. What? 
Dude, people don't pay cash for homes. They don't pay cash for cars. Everybody leverages money from a bank to buy freaking chicken. People are financing stuff from Amazon at $9.99 for five months. What? It's just leveraging money from a bank to get something paid for to provide a better service and ease of use and frictionless processes at the point of sale. Yeah. It don't matter what it is. We're financing everything, man. And that's the thing. And he said frictionless, frictionless, frictionless. And that's like what you'll find with Blue Pages, in my opinion, is like what he's done is really make it easy. In my opinion, just to like try to keep it short, which I'm not a pro at, but to keep it short is if we can get to the point where you're leading with financing, where on your marketing and you're conversating and all of that, you are saying, yeah, typically it's going to be this much a month, blah, 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 and make them ask you for the full price. Make them ask. I mean, not that you're hiding that, but make them ask, what if I pay in full and all that? If you can communicate in that way and offer financing, not as this, oh, okay, fine, we'll try this, but instead, this is just how we do it then it's going to be huge. And I think it's such a powerful thing. And that's why Blue Pages is so smooth and cool. Go ahead. Let me talk about that point. So offering affordable payment options is what you're doing. It's not really finance, affordable payment options, right? You're doing it from your marketing. You're doing it from Jim's coming out. Hey, just to let you know, if you haven't had a chance, ask him about some promotional offers we have for affordability. When Jim shows up, and I'm, I'm going to pick on Jim. Jim's the roofer. Yeah. And he shows up and he's got his clipboard. He's going to get a micro yes at the door. The micro yes is, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, thanks for having me today. Listen, I'm going to set my information down somewhere in your home. So when we're done, we can go over the roof estimate that I'm going to get you and maybe go over some of the promotional financing options we have. Um, where would be a good place that I can set this down so we can sit down when I'm done getting in off your roof and in your attic? And they're going to go, well, geez, Jim, um, right over there at the kitchen table is good. I'm not selling anything. What I'm getting to do is I'm going to get my first yes. Now, when I have my information, it's going to have my logo. It's going to have promotional financing. It's going to have short-term, long-term financing options here. It's not going to talk about terms, rates, or programs. It's going to look really nice. I'm going to set this down at an angle on their desk. The reason why I'm going to send it down at an angle is I want them to look at it when I'm up in the attic and on the roof. So when I come down and I see that thing's been moved three degrees to the right, I know that they're interested in financing. So when I sit down and say, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, I found out what's going on up there. We need a roof replacement. We can do this. Let's sit down and go over the terms. I want to express the value of our company so you feel solid doing business with us. Then you get to the end of your blah, 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 And you go, listen, I had mentioned before, we got some promotional offers if you're looking for financing, but would you like to be, right? This is key. Everyone pay attention. Will you be using your money to pay for this? Or would you like to use some of ours? You have to use that, that tone. Mr. And Mrs. Smith, the contract is X. Are you going to be using your money or would you actually like to use some of ours? And they're going to go, what do you mean some of yours? Well, we work with a couple of lenders over here, that promotional, long-term, short-term, different types of financing. I can see what options work best for you. Will you be using some of your money or would you like to use some of ours? Now, by saying that, I'm not letting them say yes or no. They actually have to answer me. Will you be using some of your money? Like it could be insurance. It could be a credit card. It could be mattress money. It could be a check. It could be money that they stole from um, their family. I don't care. Are you using yours? Or we'd like to use some of ours. Or we could do combination. I offer 100% financing. I got promotional loans like an 18 month with pay deferred if you don't want to pay interest. Or we could do this out to 15 years and keep the payment low with no prepayment penalty. Which one of those two options do you think would work better for you and Mrs. Smith? And then you nod your head. Because now I'm giving them yes mode. And they go, wow, well, actually, it's $10,000. Yeah, it's about 96 bucks a month. Well, how, is it hard? No, I can just scan it with this thing right here. And I'll have you approved in less than three minutes. We'll sign. We'll get this. The permits pulled. We'll start doing the roof next week. Listen, I hope you're paying attention. It ain't hard. And you ain't got to be a financier to say what I just said. No. All you got to do is position your words properly. So anyway, and and that's the beauty of it really is just like where 
we're in a world where people want options. I think people literally like they'll be mad if they don't have options. There used to be, I think there was a time where people didn't want options, where people wanted it to be kind of told to them, but that was before research was easy. That was before all that. Like it is a thing that's so important now. And if you can figure out the way to word it, the way he just said it, yeah, it's $96, 10,000. Yeah. Don't worry about 10,000. No, $96 a month. The way he worded it and having those tactics and kind of doing that thing, doing that kind of thing or your own version of it. Like it doesn't have to be perfectly that. And then just doing it on repeat. It's huge because at the end of the day, this is. People will tell you if they don't need to finance it. They're not going to be offended that you typically use financing as an oper- as an option for them. They're going to be almost excited to tell you, oh, we can just pay cash. Don't Dude, worry. I do it all the time. I just bought $10,000 of appliances from Lowe's on an 18-month with pay deferred, bro. I got an 845 FICO. I got the money. I don't need to use my money. I'll make equal payments on that thing over 18 months and not pay a dime in interest. I, I'm broke on a higher level. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that's the beauty. Don't judge, your, don't judge your customers by the cars in the driveway. That Mercedes, that Range Rover means that they're just broke on a higher level. And they're looking and they're usually typical typical people that actually like to leverage money from banks. They're your prime customers, man. They are not cash customers. No, that's the thing. So I had a (laughs) quick story. I had, I started making money in distribution. Like I was a young kid right out of college. I think 24. So you were a drug drug dealer? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Nice story, Brad. Really, really. Shingle drug dealer. So- (laughs) In distribution, like oh. I was like before I knew what to do with myself, I started making like eleven, twelve thousand a month. Yeah, and yeah. as like a twenty-four year old looking at my friends like trying to get their five thousand dollar raise, uh it was like, oh my gosh, I have so I'm about to this is this is gonna be my life. Oh my goodness. Like I was so excited. I thought it was the most amount of money in the world. So I went. I had a family friend who was like a financial advisor and I was like, I need to go to dinner with you. I need to figure out what to do with all this money. Like a freaking idiot. But he was like, Brad, save your money. Don't even invest it yet. Like who cares? This is nothing. He's like, and you know, all these people that you're looking at in these nice neighborhoods, these people, I manage half their money. They don't have two pennies to rub together. Right. He's like, don't trust the $2 million house. Don't trust the fancy schools. Don't trust the nice suits. Don't trust anything. The only thing that talks is money. And the way he worded it is like, all it, like you have to know, like everything you thought you knew about money is wrong. And some people go their whole life, not learning that lesson. He's like, and the biggest thing I can tell you right now is not to invest your money or do anything stupid and lock it up. Yeah. The best thing I can tell you right now is help you learn that lesson. Yeah. Because if you can learn that lesson at this age, then you are set. That's but Brad, awesome. eleven or twelve thousand a month is fucking nothing. So like, if you yeah, want yeah. to get money, like, you better like actually start understanding how money really works, dude. Can I need to um to say something in line with that? This is great. I've never done a live with you, and I really like your your energy because I'm like, Rah! and you're like beautifully calm. I. Like you get, but dude, you're a monster. Like I'm delayed David and you're Goliath when I met you face to face. Yeah. Um, with your point on that dollar amount, it's also important for sales professionals that are listening to this, whether the live or you're going to hear this on our YouTube or wherever we're going to take this and, and shove it, shove it. Um, don't sell from your back pocket. Let me explain what that means. So if you're a sales professional and you see that that price on your estimate thingamajigger <laughs> is like $39,875. And if you don't have the conviction to sit down and tell the customers, Mr. and Mrs. Smith, all right, we're good. We're going to go over, we're going to go over this contract price with you. So were you going to be looking to use your money, some of ours? And they're going to be like, well, what's the price? Well, we're at $39,875, which is actually going to be $275 a month if you want to use that on a 799 15 year with no prepayment penalty. 
use conviction because if they smell that you think $39,000 contract is a lot or a monthly payment of $379 is a lot, they're going to lose credibility in what you do and they're going to think it's a lot. But if you have the conviction and the strength in your tonality and your body posturing of we're the best roofer, here's why you're going to know us, like us, trust us, and remember us forever because our value and what we do in our warranty, that's a story that you told. That's the company cam showcase gallery pictures from the start to the finish that you showed them on all your projects and told stories. That's your project map and that you showed them all the installs that you've done so they know you like you, trust you, and will remember you forever. If you don't have conviction at the point of sale with your contract, you're screwed. They'll smell it. They'll think that it is a lot of money because you think it's a lot of money because you do it for a living. But if you would go there with conviction to say, I miss Mr. Smith, we're looking at $39,000. And oh, hey, if you'd like a payment plan, uh, this payment's going to be, let me see here, be about $379 a month with no prepayment penalty. You can pay these loans off whenever you want. Most customers pay them off between five and three, three and five years. Just have conviction. You think it's a lot of money? Imagine the people sitting on the other side looking at you. Oh my God, honey, did you see the look on his face when he got done with the exact Sestustomator? Like, oh gosh. He, he thought it was a lot of money. Holy shit. Why did he think it was a lot of money? Is it a lot of money? What? Dude, it is what it is. Why is it so much? Well, you see the prices have gone up of supplies 15% since COVID. Now it's up to 35%. Cost of goods have gone up. Here's some local value. Here's some local stuff that we've done. Jimmy's down the road was four hundred forty-two thousand dollars. You're you're doing really well. And here's the thing: knowing Jimmy has paid forty-two thousand dollars, whether financed or not, is important to them. Uh, like yeah, it's you got it. Like if you are scared of the price that you're saying out loud, and then financing is the only way to save them from that price, then you're. Yeah. Just a terrible Nobody situation. Nobody walks into the Ford dealership and looks at the F-250 and says, I can't wait to pay cash today. No. They look at the guy and go, what are the finance terms? Are we looking at like eight and a half percent on 72 months now? Or can I mortgage this thing for 15 years? Because yeah. it's a freaking $115,000 truck now. And what? We bought, I bought a Jeep recently, just like kind of a, I sold my truck, kind of just needed an in-between car. Next is the nice Bronco with the like convertible top. I'm pretty pumped about it, but we'll wait. So what happened though? Like the way that we all looked at it is like, okay, how much cash do I need to put down to get my payment to this amount? Cause this is what I want to spend a month. And that's the way I made the decision. It wasn't, I'm going to pay cash. It was okay. If I put this much cash down and we do this term, I didn't really care about the term. I didn't really care about like, all I cared about was the monthly payment. And like, I'm not going to say that's the most responsible, but honestly, this is how people operate. How we this live, is how man. Goes. This is why it exists. And that's the thing is like, do I feel guilty about doing that? No, this is how I bought the car. I wanted, okay, how much money to put down so that I can have a monthly payment that I'm comfortable with. Am I going to have this car for a year? Longer. Two years, longer, three years, longer. So like whatever. And also like whenever it's time to cash out, I cash out. If I want to start, if I just have a bunch of cash and like, oh, let me pay it off early. There's no problem with that. Like that was something I made sure of is like, can I pay it off early? No problem. So like these are the kinds of things that like people want to like, if you just can get them the way that it works. And like you said, the way you worded it a second ago, Chris, with, okay, it's going to be $36,000, which comes out to $300 a month finance. If you can like price anchor them like that, yeah. like in a way where you're not, you're not scared of the price. You're confidently saying the price. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're thinking, <laughs> which they will, because yeah. no one wants to spend $36,000 on a roof. Like you don't need to act like it's a lot because it's not. And you know it. Hopefully you've done this long enough to know that that's not an outrageous price for a roof of that size. If you are charging prices that you're not confident in, then maybe you need to figure out why, like whether your conviction is, or maybe you are charging too much. I don't think you are, but like, if that's, if you really feel bad about it, 
do you just feel bad about like being a company that's for profit? Cause that's some head trash you need to figure out. Yeah. But either way, the point that I'm making is say you're communicating. Okay. We're going to go, we're talking about, yeah. So based off of this, like, yeah, we did Mr. Jones's roof. Like I think his came out to about 42,000 yours is like a, maybe a little bit less than that. So like probably we'll shave off like four or five, six thousand $6,000 from that. Um, so we're going to talk about the ventilation. Like this is how we're going to go. Let's, we want to make sure that you have this ridge. The reason is, is because this will kind of uphold with the wind a little better. And it also just looks good. And we want to make sure you have like, here's a picture of what it looks like over here. Blah, blah, blah. Like talk, talk, talk. Don't even give them time to process the 42,000 to 36,000. Just keep going and then say, all right. So yeah, I was well, right earlier about the price and that's going to come out to like $300 a month with this plan. If you want to do this plan, it's $250 a month. And then of course, if you want to pay cash, it's that 36. You can also value stack. Um, bro, is bro still on this thing? I don't think that he's in. No, okay, that's fine. So look, we don't, I think also use, shadow band or something. it's fine. You can also use your, your financing tools you can use your good, better, best, good, best, 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 better, good, what better, good. It doesn't matter. I don't want to get in an argument with everybody, but you can use your options value stack close as well. So you can establish, here's my base model. Here's my mid model. Here's my prime level and give them the option to choose between one of those three. And none of those options was no. So if you value stack the value and explain the value of, well, geez, you really need this because this one comes with a two year, um, annual maintenance plan we're going to come out four times a year to get on your roof to make sure that the flex seal that we sprayed down there is still attached check your gutters because it's super dangerous mr smith to get on the roof we're going to do that for you because we're well insured but that's why this one's a little bit more it's because we're putting the xyz extra super factor on there and we've got the annual roof maintenance where we're going to send johnny b out here to make sure that the gutters are clean and make sure everything that's good you know because you don't want to get up there super dangerous we'll do that for you but if you value stack your offer between an eight thousand to ten thousand and twelve thousand, and they realize that it's a twenty-five dollar incremental pay, at the point of sale they're going to buy the twelve thousand because the guy's going to look at the wife, the wife's going to look at the guy, and they're going to go, "I don't want you getting up on that roof," and they're going to go, "It's only twenty-five dollars more a month." They're going to justify the expense, going, "It's less than a dollar a day. You ain't getting on the roof, and holy cow, you guys are going to come out. I got something else. You're going to come out twice a year to do that. Absolutely." Guys, listen to Brad when he trains you on this. When you go back out for your annual roof maintenance agreement twice a year, you're taking your postcards or your door hangers, you're doing the five by five by 10 method. You're going to put, we're in the neighborhood helping Mr. You know, whatever home. You're going to do five here, five there, and 10 across the street. It's going to have your dynamic QR code. So when somebody comes home and they know that you're in the neighborhood working on a roof maintenance program, you scan it, it's going to push them back to your blue page and your video is going to talk about what you're doing in the neighborhood and how you can help them with your offer, which is attached to, hey, if we have affordable financing. And, oh, look at all of our jobs that we've done. And, oh, if you'd like to see some of the installs, click here. That's the flow. So you want to get out on a roof two times a year just to be in the damn neighborhood to tag five, tag five, tag ten. That's 20 per stop, 20 door hangers. Somebody comes home and goes, shit, I don't want to get on my roof to see if my gutters are jacked up. Who's this guy? Scan, boop. Yeah. That's the flow. That's the organic stuff. That's the guerrilla marketing that Brad talks about all the time. Costs you freaking 50 cents for a door hanger, man. It's effort. It's effort. It's and you got to put in the effort. And if you like put in the effort and do it in a systematized way and you have the right tools, then you're going to literally – beat and outpace anyone else in your market that's doing things in a lazier way. And it doesn't mean that you're about to have to go spend all this time. All you're doing is putting your energy into things that work. I made a post the other day. I don't know if you saw it about, uh, it was like the circle of self-sabotage. Yeah, it was, it was cool. About, I like that image. It was badass. Yeah. So I just popped up on my feed and I was like, this is a great, but the post was all about a lot of the time, People are like, okay, I need to do, I need to get this outcome. I need to grow, say, let's use a, a body one. I need to get big muscles. I need to get stronger. So, okay, I need to get stronger. 
they go or like, oh, I'm just going to start with push ups, something simple. They do push ups for a day or two days. And they're like, man, I don't know. This is not feeling like what I thought was going to happen. So instead of doing push ups, they're like, okay, I guess I need to hire a personal trainer. That personal trainer's like, hey, you need to get really good at this bullshit. <laughs> like, you need to get really good at this, at like doing power cleans. And if you can do power cleans all the time, then you're going to be great. What you don't realize is like you could have just kept doing the push ups the whole time. True. And that's the thing is like, my goal always is like, what are the push ups? What are the equivalent of push ups within your business? How can we do those things and make sure that we have processes for that and System. make sure that you're like doing the right things, like eating right and all that. Like that's, if you can have that stuff within your business and have the right tools, you're going to win. And that's the thing is like, it's not more effort. That's the thing I have to, can't stress enough. It is not more effort. It seems like it's more effort, but being poor is more effort. The stress and the energy that you give your business when it's not where you want it to be is more effort. Trying to decide how to deal with the marketing company that's not getting the results that you want is more effort. Wondering whether it's you or them, it's more effort. And here's the really weird thing. And I'm just going to tell you, like, it's most likely you. There's not that many marketers that are just out there scamming people, no matter what the reputation is. The fact of the matter is like, you got to do the push-ups, you got to do the work. And if you can do the work and then you know who to talk to when, what to focus on when and all of that, then you're going to start really seeing some amazing success. And the most important thing is like, what is foundational? What is the initial things you need? And that's why I think I think what Chris is doing is amazing because like he's making it very attainable. He's making it simple to get financing set up. He's making it simple to promote your financing. He's making it so you don't have to have like this awkward, okay, let me get on my iPad and go on this website that's not optimized for mobile and try to figure out how this, okay, like fill out this application. Like, yeah, I know it kind of looks like 1998 HTML. Um we're like, just, it's okay. You should trust it and make them feel like, oh, this is weird. This doesn't feel right. I don't feel like he's done it before because it doesn't feel like you've done it before because it's so uncomfortable and a weird process. <laughs> yeah. That matters. That stuff, that's the part that's getting built right. If you, that's the name of my program, but like that is getting the foundational stuff well is like, so how can we matter. look and think about the interaction with our customers? How can we look at what we have to do every day? and make the most out of what we have to do every day. Anyways, once we've done all of that, that's when marketing crushes it. That's when yep. a that's when you can afford and your business can afford to invest in the right stuff. That's when you can put the right effort in. That's when you can have salespeople that come in and stay. Yeah. Like that's how it works, but and that's what people like Corey Combs and John Bros, I think, are two amazing. I, they're some of my favorites. Yep. Because they preach the basics. Yep. And people don't realize that they're preaching the basics a lot of the time. Like, if you watch carefully, like, it's those two people are telling you the you need to do this, 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 and this. And then people are like, okay, but... Who are you spending? Who are you using for your Google ads? Yep. Like important question, but they didn't invest 15,000 a month in Google ads. Dude, you know how much, you know how much bro. I'm not going to put it out there. No, he I spends know. a lot of money in postcards. I know because it's, it's repetition because you know why it's pushups. Dude, it's push -ups. I eventually, listen, it's funny. I moved in this new home like three years ago. And this dentist kept, kept sending me his shit. And I'm like, I got, I got a dentist. Fuck off, right? Fuck off, fuck off. I eventually not, didn't like my dentist anymore. So that dude's postcard came in. And I was like, man, I got to go. Hey, man. Yeah, I got your postcard here. You're doing a free freaking dental hygiene check. Yeah, I got insurance. I'll be down on, like, bro. And eventually, it took him two years. But he got me because the timing was impeccable. He didn't quit showing up in my mailbox every month. 
So the postcard costs probably a buck. Of, it's twelve dollars a year. To send it to my house. It's a dollar. <laughs> he got me, and I actually met the guy, and I really like him. And here's the thing: like <laughs> people, like if you send one batch of postcards out, and then I'm getting on. No, nah, we're dude. We're fine. Nobody. I can't even find of, this live anywhere. It's not anywhere. It's not it's on, on your, the roofing brand builders Facebook. It's not group. anywhere, dude. It's on roofing the what? The roofing brand builders Facebook group. You have too many pages, bro. Roofing. Uh, it's a Facebook uh, group. You got in, the Brad thing. You've got the this thing. Oh yeah. my God! There we are. Yeah, we don't. I got, have, Corey, I got Cody McAllister over here yelling at me right now. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> I love Cody. I so. Agree. The way, like, but when we're going on that, when we have that stuff going, it's just funny because, like, if you look at a mark a direct mail campaign, say you sent out a thousand pieces, and that's a thousand homeowners, and you did that one time, then your response rate might be 0.1%, like some, like one or two leads, like it's going to be bad. Say you did that for four months. Yeah. Okay, now it's probably going to get to like 1%. Still, not amazing. But now imagine if you spent $24,000 on postcards over two years. Rex. That's when you get a 4 or 5% response rate if you actually look at everyone. And that's an incredible return. And like all of a sudden it grows and all that. And like that's the kind of thing that you need to understand. Like reps, repetition, right. doing the same thing over and over again. That's what's yeah. important. And being ready when they do call you. Love it. And Love being it. ready, that's where I think you come in. It's like being ready. Like, okay, let me make this a great experience. I've been marketing this person for six months. He finally reached out to me. Now I'm up. <laughs> like, you better have your systems in place. Yeah. I <laughs> Love it, bro. Cool. What do you want? You want we? I think we did enough role play in this. We're at yeah, about we 40, we're at forty one minutes. So, well, why don't you tell people about Blue Pages and kind of like what how they can yeah. get involved? It's um, real simple. This is not a, a long pitch. It's real simple. We do three things. We build a custom land. I keep pointing back there, like you can see it. I don't know. We build you a custom landing page to help you connect, convert, and close more customers. We offer financing solutions that plug into your Blue Page and onto your website and on your mobile app. And then we have traffic packages to help you drive traffic to it. There we go. That's, That's it. I mean, it's enough. not rocket science. It's it's a blue page is a custom landing page microsite with a bunch of really cool sales tools. We take them through a journey. I build you your financing API in there. And then I put on your website too. So you got on your blue page and your website. Then I give you a digital business card. So when you meet people, you can push them to your landing page. And I give you a custom dynamic QR code so you can push them to your landing page. And then I put a little badge on your website called a certified pro badge that ties your website and your blue page together so they can link up and beat the shit out of the Google Reckonator. And then go. if you need traffic ideas, we've got partners that can help you drive traffic back to that or else hire Brad. He'll Brad's got like 17,000 different ways to drive traffic to your blue page or your website or just you. So whether you're doing business with me or not, or you don't want a blue page, it's fine. I got three levels. I've got... Um, the base, which is 120 bucks a year, and it comes with a digital business card. I've got Pro Light, which I build the integration financing in a video. That's 400 bucks a year, and then the Big Mama over here that you see with everything, that's 1500 bucks a year. We don't charge for leads, so you close one deal and it's paid for the whole thing. Guys, I have never had someone disappointed when I've sent them Chris's way. So I, I think that's gonna. I hope you should take that more seriously than anything that's a rare rare situation is finding someone that is able to consistently deliver and do what they say they're going to do and provide solutions and value and there's been times where he, someone maybe was just starting their business and it wasn't the right time for financing or anything like we got, that no, i've got a solution for that and now he's got a solution to that i so have, I have direct i have direct for guys that just started their roofing business they can't get enrolled with any indirect lender i have a direct lender now that you can offer financing to your come up customer right through your blue page they click this button they click that button it takes them right to that lender you could have gotten in business last week i don't give a shit you're all set so there we go. That's the one time that someone hasn't worked with him pretty much. Uh, but guys, he's he's the man. He's the real deal. Uh, 
I, I, he's, I've been lucky to kind of build a friendship with him over the years. And it's oh, we're partners now too. Yeah. Dude. And I'm a, I got certified as a partner on his yeah, page. You're, you're going to be in the blue pages yeah. university now spreading the love to yeah. 18,000 freaking people that aren't just roofers. So you yeah. might, Hey, I you might pick yeah. up some air conditioning customers pretty soon. <laughs> well, things like HVAC. You got like 8,000 air conditioning, plumbing and electric people on the blue pages. Like you, 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 they're going to be like, well, if what they do for roofing works for roofing, why, why can't I do that for air conditioning and electric and plumbing? Yeah. It's and all, I think if it's I like the recurring ticket nature of some of those, I might be able to come up with some even more fun stuff. <laughs> all um, right, brother, man. Hey, thanks yeah, for having me here today. Of course. I appreciate you. Yeah. Thanks. Guys, go to Blue Pages. Uh, I, I really, it's a pretty cool platform. The landing pages, they're slick, they're easy to use, they're easy to set up. Um, there's, there's really no reason not to, this isn't just a, this isn't like a listing or some random thing though. It is a listing, but it's yeah, not front, just there's a front listing. end and back end. There's it a is organic front end a side. Tool. Yeah. It's yeah. a tool. Even if no one ever found you directly, just having the link is of a massive amount of value. And the thing is they are going to find you directly because he's putting a lot of work in there too. So like, Guys, this is an amazing, amazing tool. If you work with me now or in the future, you're going to hear me push you to Chris at some point anyways, so you might as well skip the line yep. and reach out to him now. All right, brother. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you so much, I'll man. talk to you soon, guys. Well, later.